Hey Scrappers, Tom from MyScrap. Today we want to go over something that a lot of people have asked us, but we finally found a really good sample and we wanted to kind of inform you how you figure out how much copper is inside your wire. Now as you can see here, this is a piece of heavy high voltage cable, generally used in underground powers. And you may not run across something like this often, but it does illustrate the point where you go to your scrapyard, you look and you say, hey, you know, there's a piece of black plastic on the outside, you see a piece of copper foil down in here, you see another piece of black plastic, you see a piece of white rubber, and then you see this nice copper inside, but you just don't know how much copper there is compared to the overall weight. So what we want to do is kind of go over it. We took a sample, we took it, and we started to take it apart so we could give you a better idea. Now this is going to be something that's going to cost you money in the beginning, but in the long run it's going to make you money. Buy a small scale off of Amazon or go to Walmart, 15 $20 gram scale, cut a two to three inch piece of copper, whatever your sample is, and from there you'll be able to start to figure it out. So we're going to turn the scale on, and this is our sample that we took apart. Let's figure out, just make sure it's zeroed out. So this entire sample weighs 200 93.9 grams. So I wrote that down. What you want to do next is start to figure out how much rubber compared to how much copper there is. So just like an onion, you're going to start peeling back the layers. So we're going to take the first layer off. And the outside jacket weighs 30 grams. So I'm going to write that down. From there you want to be able to take the foil that was inside of that jacket, you want to be able to write it down. Make sure you fold it, this way it has a nice clean weight, nothing's really hanging off. And you're going to be able to see that this weighs 6.6 .6 grams, and that's for the outside foil. And what you're going to be able to do from there is start to figure out where your numbers are going. Now that we have the first two layers of the copper out of the way, you can start to go to the next ones. Now, these pieces of bear bright that were inside, it's a little difficult to get these onto the scale all in one shot, so we're going to give you a shortcut on how you can figure out what this weight is. But I'm going to take this inner piece of rubber, we're going to weigh that up, we're going to see that that weighs a total of 51 grams. So now we have enough information to be able to take all of our weights and actually figure out what this copper in my hand weighs. We'll take a nice simple calculator. We'll take that original 293.9 grams. We'll subtract the 30 grams of this out, outer piece of plastic. From there, we'll subtract, subtract the 6.6 .6 grams of foil. And last but not least, the 51 grams of rubber. That leaves us with a number of 206.3, and that's the amount of grams for the number one wire that was inside this sample that we were working on. So now you see these numbers in front of you. You'll be able to say to yourself, okay, well, I know that out of roughly 294 grams of weight, that about 236 grams was copper. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 236, you want to divide it by 293. From there, just do simple math and you'll see that this comes to 80.5%. So what that means is, in this piece of copper cable, 80.5% of the overall weight is copper. So now let's just round it down to an even 80%. You can take a sample like this, you can take your scale and then even the smaller pieces that you took apart to your scrap yard and say, listen, here's my sample, I took it apart, here are the percentages, what can you pay me? This makes it much easier for the scrap yard to be able to give you a very fair and honest price. And you can even go to the iScrapApp.com and shop around for some other scrapyards in the area, see what they would be paying you or see if they list prices like this online. 
Hopefully this is a, a great learning video. Any questions that you have about trying to figure out what the percentages are, just let us know. This is Tom from the iScrap app. Until next time, scrappers, I'll scrap you later.